Jihad is uh, one of the loved actions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of the most loved actions by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so it brings you closer and the remembrance of death, because here, you know, let's face it, you're, you're under danger of uh, losing your life, you're under danger, so that kind of reminds you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, reminds you of the cause, reminds you of uh, your main thing, and that is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and He reward you with shahada. A lot of things motivated me to come to Syria. Uh, the main thing for me was my personal relation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a servant and a worshipper of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being the one and only God. Yani I wanted to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in my life. So I looked for what is the best way to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and of course that is jihad uh, because sacrificing the most valuable thing which is your life to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yani what, what else can you say what more can you sacrifice more than your life uh, another thing is is I couldn't live with myself living a normal life uh, in the UK or wherever, wherever, and there's a dire need for me here in Syria. So here, there's a more meaning for life for me, because there's a cause. Whereas in the UK, uh, even if uh, I improved and was promoted in my work, even if I reached to a level of, of what they call success, in terms of life, but w what is after that? I always had that question. I came uh, to Syria uh, as a bachelor when I was 19. I am married now. Being married doesn't change uh, the motivation or the passion or the goal even. Uh, of course, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you that steadfastness. Uh, being married just adds on more responsibility. Uh, marriage could either help you in your cause or it could either hold you back. So you need to build your marriage towards helping you, making your jihad better. Uh, most important thing uh, when going to jihad, the most thing you think about, for me anyway, is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts from you. Uh, this could be even your last ribat. So make it an accepted ribat. Yeah, they fix your intentions and remind yourself of why you're going. And try and make out of it as much as you can. There's a, a big and a dire need for manpower in the front lines. Uh, you know, for me, I'm not tied to any faction or committed to any faction. Uh, for me, yeah, when I got the experience that I needed, I made my jihad being for the most, where it's most needed uh, and where it's most helpful. The reasons for not going to front lines may vary, uh, but the main reason or the main motive behind reasons or excuses for not going front line, we know for sure that shaitan is behind it. The reason being is Muhajireen did not come here for or shouldn't have the right Muhajir that came for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give victory to justice, should not have come here to give victory for a certain group, whether it's Jabhat Nusra or Hayya or Ahrar or even FSA. The cause is still there and I believe that having a role in this cause could give you the chance in fixing uh, whatever that you may dis disagree with. Yani being a part of something gives you a say rather than being away from something. And also the most important thing that <coughs> 
uh, at this time, yani, we are under big threat from all sides, whether it's South Aleppo, whether it's uh, suburbs of Hama, whether it's from ISIS, there's a need for men. This jihad <coughs> does not belong to Hayah. This jihad belongs to all, of, all Muslims. I don't consider Bashar to have won this war <coughs> unless my life is over. If my life is over then, or so long as I can't do anything else within this cause, then that's the time when I can stop. So regardless whether Russia comes, whether any allies of Bashar come, whether the regime gets stronger, it shouldn't matter to us. Because this cause is not a trial, it's not a test that we're trying. It's a cause that we believe in, it's a cause that we will follow through to the last uh, breath and last effort. I've arrived today at uh, South Halab, whereas Jihad is uh, one of the loved actions of Allah, one of the most loved actions of Allah.